Now the project is on solving linear equations using Gaussian elimination. Uh, this project is implemented in Java. It uses linked list implementation of sparse matrix. Okay, so this is the sparse matrix data structure used. So it has five fields, uh, the row and call. Uh, so the row and the column integers, the value is a double and call link and row link are references. So this is just a high level sparse matrix implementation using linked list. So in this, uh, we can see a series of row pointers and column pointers and uh, the values are stored as nodes. So suppose if a value is present at the row uh, 2 and column 2, so it will be uh, shown as follows. So a value 2.0 is present at the row value 2 and column value 2. Uh, all zero values will not be stored in the sparse matrix. It will only store uh, non-zero values. Okay, so now we will see the methods implemented. The entire project is divided into three stages. Uh, for the first stage, the methods implemented are, uh, the first one is initialize. So this method initializes the sparse matrix from a given set of expressions, which are inputted to the program. So using string processing, it extracts all the values and initializes the sparse matrix shown in this figure. The next method is the insert method. This method inserts a value C to the position I comma J in the sparse matrix. And the last method in stage one is the output method. This method prints the sparse matrix. Okay, so now we have the stage two. The first method is the add row method. So the add row method adds RJ that is the row j multiplied by constant c to the row i. Uh, similarly, we have the subtract row method. So in this method, uh, rj multiplied by constant c is subtracted from uh, ri, that is row i. The next method is the swap rows method. So this method swaps the rows i and j. And the last method in stage 2 is the delete method. This deletes a node at the position i comma j in the sparse matrix. If there is no node uh, at the position i comma j, it gives an error. Okay, so the stage three contains the following methods. The first one is the triangulate method. So now this reduces the entire sparse matrix to the row actlion form. Uh, this method uses uh, the methods add row, subtract row, swap rows, and delete. So, triangulate method reduces the entire matrix to the row actlion form. Then we have the solve method. The solve method solves the row actlion form of the sparse matrix and produces the solution. Uh, that is, it produces solution as x1, x2, x3. And the last method is the is solution method. So this method first it uh, reinitializes the matrix and it checks if the solution produced by the solve method is correct. That is, uh, if the solution satisfies the equation. So now we'll see the output. Okay, so this is the project code here. This is our data structure and uh, this is our project class and uh, now let's go to the output. Okay, so, so this is the project output. So we'll take a test case 3 for this demo. So I will initialize the sparse matrix to test case 3. So these are the expressions and uh, we will now print the sparse matrix. 
So this is the sparse matrix. So now let's triangulate this sparse matrix. So we see that uh, many nodes are inserted and deleted based on the algorithm. So now we just print the output. The output will be in row Eclion form. So this is the row Eclion form of the initial sparse matrix. So now we'll solve this uh, row Eclion form. So now this is the solution of the sparse matrix. So now we check if the solution satisfies our equation. So we go to option 8. And uh, so it reads, it initializes the matrix and then it checks if the solution solves the system of linear equations. Uh, all the solution solves all the equations. So, so that's it. That's the demo. Thank you for watching.